<laughs> As the BAM says, do the marathon tomorrow. I'm not patient enough. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome, YouTube. If you're on YouTube, uh, please like and share. We're on a journey together. We're doing the Asram campaign from Viva La Dirt League. It's a lot of fun. We're almost on episode 100. Tonight, we're going to try and shoot for two episodes. If I have the energy, it's been a very long night. Um, but I'm very excited as we are almost to episode 100. We're going to do episode 97 and hopefully get to 98 tonight. I'm still thinking about what date to do like a marathon, so don't worry. I'm still invested. I still love the series. We're going to keep it on rocking, and uh, we're getting to some really exciting parts. They just met like an acting troupe. I think that this is going to get very interesting. I think this acting troupe is going to be evil, I don't think the acting troupe is as in innocuous as I as they appear to be, but that was just my first impression. Let's see what happens. There, we burned it down. There were innocent people still in that tree. Are we the uh, bad guys? Are we the <laughs> oh, most definitely, yeah. Why is Kale Steam here? Once we kill all three hags, she'll get all her powers back. Some travelers on the road. Where's your next location? Uh, we'll have to scatter through we were told to perform for uh, uh, uh. Oh, I love this. Maddie, yes, I would like to be spoiled just a, a touch. And I'm also thinking about get, dabbling back into the Misfits again. I I just can't stand that the Misfit episodes keep going and I can't watch them, so I might be okay with being spoiled by Misfits. But go ahead and uh, Maddie says, do you want to hear something hilarious? It's minuscule spoilery. Okay, so Ben grew a mustache to troll Rowan, who had to shave his. <laughs> Then Ben got hired by an outside acting gig and now has to keep it for the next three months until they tell him he can shave it. That's funny. That's funny. Tomorrow we're going to watch all of Rowan's real-life commercials. One of the algorithms put it in our Discord. By the way, if you want to be part of our Discord and find really cool things for us to watch, anything, anything and everything for our morning show, do that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, go to our um, description and join our Discord and become a part of this cool uh, family, which it really is. I love all of you. I have such a great time with you. Greg? Oh, God. Yeah? Oh, so this is where you left us for, <laughs> is it? Oh, God. Yeah, Nick definitely don't want to miss tomorrow because we're going to watch real life oh, Rowan God. <laughs> commercials. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long oh. was he in the trip for? <laughs> Not that like, long. Like, like a couple of three weeks or something. Really? But they were in the middle of like rehearsing a play and then he left. <laughs> and he was like the main <laughs> character. I did, I Vincent. Said, I Welcome back. need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where it's more important to be in the forest, I suppose. Than oh, no, you Nikki, it's shit okay. Going on. We'll put the you know, we had to cancel YouTube. that play. And for our, that, I'm sorry. Our group, is, our group disbanded. We had to put a new crew, crew, crew together. Not all of them seem to recognize you. That's actually a lovely name. How did it go? Well, it didn't go well yeah, at all. We cancelled it. Crack. That's why we took <laughs> we the the show. Time. How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that key part of information. I see. Well, we have a new, a new show and a new troupe. So uh, we're, wow. we're, we're, I wish you luck with We're actually performing with uh, the Bard himself and the, one, the rear of the two uh, cats. It suddenly shifts its uh, suspension as it's getting out is a stick. very large green screened troll uh, carrying a very large spear. Ah, oh, Shakespeare. And he gets it out and then starts shaking it in your direction. Oh, it's Shakespeare! <laughs> ah! Oh, Billy shake a stick. <laughs> hey, Billy. <laughs> We're performing uh, his his most famous Bob's romantic tragedy, Romeo income. and Magluviet. Oh. Uh, we're performing it on a tour around uh, Ewelin. We've been invited by the Hourglass Coven them, uh, themselves, so... You know that they're evil, though, right? Well, they're paying. <laughs> right. I was just about to say that. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you work for them? Why would you go and perform for them? Are you, are you evil as well? Darling, have you heard the expression, a pot calling the kettle black? <laughs> you <ready to> <laughs> The caption said squirms and chaotic evil. Bear, bear dude. Oh. Point. Do you need bodyguards? We could be your bodyguards. Well, you probably would make good bodyguards for all the things you've killed. Um, protection would be suitable. All right. Yeah. And maybe, maybe, maybe you could. <laughs> do you need we, another actor? We can, we can do the protection and. I'll start, Despite I'll, the name, I'll we're not again. one man. <laughs> I'm, walking, I'm one, one more, one I'm more, down, for one, I'm down for one more ride. It's my last day before retirement. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Are you asking me to return? <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. 
despite the name One Man Shy, we are actually a full complement. Well, you should change that name. Looks like my acting talents needed one more time to save this world. I accept. <laughs> no, darling, I think you misunderstand. <laughs> We're all set, actually. No, no, if you're One Man Shy, then I, Greg the Garlic Farmer, will take the lead role. I see what's happened. You, you, the, the, one, the name One Man Shy is just the name of the group. Excuse me, We're, excuse me. I'm Greg's manager. Uh, I'm going to step in here right now. First things first, I take a 55% booking fee on top of his fee. That's no, non-negotiable. No, 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 not finished yet. Uh, that's not even including GST. When we get to location, <laughs> we will be uh, discussing the lighting. There is a very fine uh, line of blue light that he will not have in any of his performances. When we get to his Darling, caravan... I, we, we have a full troop. We're, we're I'll do no. it! I'll do it! Uh, excuse me, <laughs> this is non-negotiable. It's done! Greg, you, you need, need to help. stop. You need to stop coming up with plans. Alan is the best, man. Alan makes me laugh a lot when he gets into that mode, like the overacting mode. That's like some of my favorite Alan. And just actioning them <laughs> straight. So, up. so you, it, it is either him. They've got Shakespeare. They've got Shakespeare. They don't need him. I love this. Maddie says, "Oh, Rob based some of this character on an acting professor who is awful, and Rob still hates to this day." Of like one of the best uh, playwrights of all time. Yeah. They don't need me. York Shakespeare. Yeah. You need them, Greg. No. You need them. I don't need anybody. <laughs> Greg. I, I need to go back to Honeywood I, and I, I need to I, just I, give I, you I a just, quest. I just hug you. I just hold you. I hold you. I hold you. I hold you. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here? Greg. What the I just killed people. I just burned a tree down. I don't even know who was inside it. Greg, I don't know. I think you, I don't know. I think you might need acting right now. You've been away for a while. You got a lot of you got a lot of pent up shit. You need to get think, out. Maybe it'd be nice to be somebody else for a change. He'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> Maybe I, I I told Christy that she's super stressed out. She's still trying to find a job, and I'm like, you just need to find a hobby. You know, like plug away at uh, like a hobby. You guys, do you have a hobby? I play guitar. I love to play guitar. Like if I get stressed out, that's the first thing I do. I pick up the guitar and I tend to like mellow out. Like if the the world has been very rough for me, I'm going to talk about it on the morning stream tomorrow. So first thing I do is like if I get way too stressed out, it's almost automatic at this point. I'm getting so old now that <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I'm not even conscious of it anymore. Like I get stressed and I just boom. I just pick up the guitar and I'll start playing. And then like, after I'm done, I seem to be chilled out. You know, Maddie says, poor Greg is melting down. Can she volunteer somewhere? Only if it pays Maddie. <laughs> uh, she's, it's so bad right now. There's so many bad things happening to me, to Christy right now. And I'm blessed to be here with all of you. Cause I'm telling you what you all keep me sane, And I just have such a blast here when, when I'm hanging with you all. You are good, says, my hobby is watching DG360 streams and vids. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. You are good. You are good. <laughs> Maddie says, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm a warrior. Got to keep good. Listen, got to keep moving forward no matter what, right? Six says, we should do a track together. Oh, what do you do? What do you play, Sick? Do you play uh, guitar? Do you sing? Or what, what are you into? Ben says, we keep you sane. <laughs> Something wrong there. <laughs> Nothing wrong there, Ben. I love you. <laughs> I just, I just, I, and then I just no, totally release says, you. <laughs> Kenneth. And Kenneth goes, oh, not. He goes, I'm sorry. It, it just, just for the next performance, you understand. Fine, I'll work on costume. And uh, another one goes, like hell oh, you will. It's my job. You guys, Jesus. You guys will take me back? <laughs> yes, I suppose. Even after what he said before? Yes. Look at this performance. You're going to stop this over I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but oh. I suppose if we're not performing here tonight, we can make a good headway on the trip to right. Yon. Right. Oh. Upwards. All aboard. Um, oh, before we go. Uh, as his agent, what is the <laughs> what is the rate of his pay for his performance shows? What? Well, uh, we and also I guess for protection, like what's the what's the that I will come second, but we, first. Oh, we, we want to ride. Oh, uh, okay. He turns <laughs> Listen, to speak. He's about to he's about to bargain <laughs> his way out of this. <laughs> he turns, he turns to speak to the guy who just said like hell you will, and he says Ian. Uh, I relate to uh, that uh, comment. Let's talk treasury. <laughs> <laughs> We can afford 20 gold each for the protection mm -hmm. and your share of the box office plus 10 gold. Wow, this is a very successful acting troupe. I mean, that's, they're, they're swinging around crazy amounts of gold if they can do that. They have to be good.
I, I, I mean, except I will be taking the 10 gold. As, that seems a little sus. That seems a little sus to me, though. As uh, your agent, as your <laughs> manager. I don't know how to. Green doesn't well. know how to negotiate, so he's just gonna <laughs> take, that, okay. take that at face okay. value. And just, so we don't know what the box office is yet. <laughs> okay. They will. They will give uh, each of you the gold up front. Uh, actually, no, they won't because they're not stupid. <laughs> yeah. They'll give. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> They'll give each of you ten gold uh, up front, uh, oh, as great. well as your payment will come well, after the box office. We know. The, we know. We know. Bond is going to spend that at the casino. Where's my gold? How much gold, sir? Ten. Uh, for you, he gives 10 gold many, for the I wonder the how much gold value. Bodger has at this And then point. your acting <sighs> payment will come. Let's right. go rich. Trust fund acting for real. For now. I've got, I've got 136 what? gold now. Huh? You've got 36. 136. Oh, wow. After the casino. All on black. Plus 10 platinum. Alrighty, oh, so, yeah. over the journey, uh, over the journey, it's going to take several days. Um, these guys know the way because oh, they've yeah. been invited, so part of the magic of the mists yeah. is that if you have an invite, you, you, can, you can find your way. Uh, you, meet, you meet all 12 of the cast, I'm not going to go through each of them, but they are all fleshed out in case you wanted to delve into their backstories. <laughs> One at a time, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deal. We will be your bodyguards in return for money. And the ability to kill Enderlin. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Great. Uh, just one, one thing before we depart. There are a lot of you. Uh, can we know your names, mm. please, and your date of births, mm. please, mm. and your addresses, and yes. just specific, detailed backstory. What are your favorite fears, favorite foods, etc., colors, I favorite too. bands? I'm interested. Yeah. In We're just oh. general detail on each and every yeah, one yeah. of you. Before we set one. off, let's get yeah. everyone's yeah. detail. I'm Very thorough and specific. Well, it's funny you should ask. I had a <laughs> this is the impracticality of Dungeons and Dragons when people are trying to role play and then they're asking way too many questions in detail that may not be pertinent, pertinent, but like is very much so a, a required aspect of Dungeons and Dragons. Because like right now, I would do the same thing because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. You got an acting troupe that's got like trust fund money. I, I, there's no trust at all for me like with the acting group so far so I want to know all the details as possible but you never see that in real life the feeling you might I once, I once did that at a party though did do that at a party one time right so <laughs> let's go yeah. so I'm it's Lawrence very that party. is Megan Trevor Daniel people. Quentin Elizabeth Petunia Roberto well, Lawrence, thank you, again, Ken Kenneth Too Patrick long. and Ian and then, who's the leader? Billy, of the Billy, Lawrence O. Oh, Lawrence O. Oh, oh, who's, who's the one that he's replacing? <laughs> Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> who's he replacing? Lawrence he's replacing, replacing Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth. And then, of Shane. course, Shakespeare. 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 I'm assuming Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's not playing with them. He's, no. he's, he's just the he's, playwright. He's, right. he's just the right. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming right. Kenneth Shame. is kind of the weak link. Of, but he's kind of the one that's not a great I've got faith Kenneth that he's super smart, a great writer, not a great actor, kind of an overthinker. So he got replaced. So, as an overthinker, he's going to stew on Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is going to be the bad guy. Yeah, and and you're all squished into the the front cart because oh, yeah. the second of the two carts is for oh, Billy. Man. By the way, Kenneth Branagh is like one of my favorite actors of all time. Like this dude, oh my god, I love that dude. He is such a good actor. I don't even know if I'm saying his last name correctly, but I love the I've loved everything he's been in, been in. It's especially that series where he's a detective and uh like Murder on the Orient and Haunting in Venice and oh, what's that detective's name for God's sake? I love that series. It was written by uh, a very famous author back in the day. I can't remember her name. Jesus, I'm I'm blanking out on names. Brandon, <laughs> he's a massive troll. Sorry, the back of, the, sorry, the back of, of a cop. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, yes Maddie, I love, love that. Like, yes, Agatha Christie. Thank you, Maddie. Maddie, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Listen, next week I'm working on sound effects with Maddie and Let's Go and Nicole. And then also I'm going to give out some VIP badges. Uh, what uh, They don't do much. They're, just like, like, they're like bling. But I'm going to give out VIP badges. Definitely Maddie's going to get a VIP badge and a lot of other people that contribute to this channel because you all deserve it. And um, so I'm going to be looking into that as well, which it, it, it looks kind of cool. But like, I think the only things that you get the ability to do as a VIP badge person is talk. If I if I engage like slow talk, you can talk like how often you want and then you can post links if you want without being a subscriber and something else. 
Like you could do something else, but like, I wish I could give like a reward out. I wish Twitch had a better system where I could actually give rewards to my VIPs on Twitch. You know, I was just talking in discord today. I think it was with Hugh and, uh, and Hugh's here right now. And I was just having this conversation with him in discord, like how Twitch's reward system needs to be updated for real. Be a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I can try for an hour. <laughs> for an about, hour. Yeah, about about uh, an hour later. By the way, Bodger, <laughs> after after about half an hour of uh, of journeying with these people, um, you <laughs> yeah realize really is that you. you were manipulated by magic. Uh, so I'm like, anyway, Kelsey, I want. What the <laughs> f are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Please what don't, happened? Please don't charm, get violent. The charm. I don't what, why off. is she still? I, I thought we were. Shh. shh, shh Bunker, Bunker. You, you guys are good friends now. But I don't yeah, know. yeah. You, you said she, lovely. She cast a spell on me. Shh. shh. And, you, oh. and you said some lovely like things a, about her. Noise. Cha -cha. And for a while there, everything was. Calm the savage barbarian. <laughs> uh, okay. Remember all the. Surely you yeah, remember. Yeah, I remember saying the things. Uh, <laughs> didn't it feel nice? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right that way. It's nice to be in love. Right right that way. Yeah. I well, wasn't in love. I wasn't in love. Wow. Well, well, I was well. like, I was like, no, she's alright. So, <laughs> yeah. so you set off with these, uh, with with this troop, um, and as you're climbing on board, Mommy. coming out of the forest, catching up to you, finally was <laughs> catching up. Get, catching up as you were, as you get, oh, like, as, as you stopped. So yeah, right, right. Go, 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 go. You mean on the horse as you were traveling? Like, like, oh my God, just keep you get, you get on the cat and start trundling off and you definitely are much faster than she is. Yeah. We're in a cart. Can I just like, the last thing is just go, I just get my throwing hammer and just go, throw it, boom. It knocks her back like 30 feet and then she stands back up. Captain Medica. She's coming. What's up with this dog? Black with all right, so it's going to take three-day journey. Uh, anything in, you want to do on that journey? We should be way ahead of yeah, the Yeah, in that time, I things. have so many uninvestigated items <laughs> yeah. in my I was my wondering inventory. when you finally get around to them. Holy hell. Well, I've got things from, like, uh, from, from, like from Bavlorna. <laughs> oh, not quite from the hill giant, but I've got so many uninvestigated yeah, things. Um, shall I just what reel you, them off? What, what, do, you, what do you want to look at? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Cancun's still here, a.k.a. Kettle Steam. Uh, Bodger just... Uh, the charm spell just wore off because Kettle Steam in the last episode chanted, enchanted uh, Bodger. So he's just realizing now that King Coon's here, and that's why they were like, shh, shh, shh. Well, we're going one by one. <laughs> what do you want to look I've at? I've got a, a white powder in a bottle. All right. So with the white powder in a, it's in a small ceramic jar, kind of like a modern pestle, but with a lid, kind yep. of like a sugar pot. Yep. Um, I think I got this from Bevlona. Uh, you will, <coughs> excuse me, you will uh, identify it as definitely magical powder. Um, you have access to the spell Identify, so if you want to do so, you can cast it as a ritual and it doesn't cost you anything. So during the day while he's like, hey Greg, what's this? Yeah, right. You can be identifying it we as well. Really should have been oh, Greg, what's this? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 an idiot. Yeah. You should have been using that. What's this, bro? Uh, that is, you, you have nothing in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> he okay, it. sorry. Uh, here's a white powder in the bottle. What's this? <laughs> that is cocaine. That is co you have cocaine. <laughs> uh, he identifies it as dust of disappearance. Mm -hmm. um, can I get you to make an arcana check, please, Birdie? Uh, that, that'll ooh, come in here. 21. 21. Sure. Um, you recognize it as dust of disappearance and in that moment uh, when he says this it is a dust that you can throw up in the air and you and everything within 10 feet of you becomes invisible objects and creatures and everything uh, so it's a way of like casting invisibility on your entire party in a pinch yeah. getting out of there and how um, long does it last? Uh, it lasts for a minute I want to say but as he hands it back to you and he tells you dust of disappearance uh, some vague recollection of your arcane studies boring lessons at the, un at the uh, temple you're reminded in a moment with your very well a uh, good uh, successful check there that dust of disappear uh, there is another type of dust that is magically enchanted to even with identify look like dust of disappearance and you take out a little pinch and okay. Yeah, <laughs> you oh. test it, oh. and immediately, <laughs> you, uh, your suspicions are confirmed. This is in fact dust of sneezing and choking. Oh, okay. oh God! Uh, you shouldn't have so, if it instead out. you throw this over yourself, thinking it's dust of disappearance, er you and everyone in the area instead is uh, is considered suffocating as you are coughing and spluttering and sneezing and can't stop. Okay, great. All right, Baradun, uh, this is Dust of Invisibility. I'm 100% certain. Oh, brilliant. Ready? Oh, yeah. that's going to be useful. Let's get a little bit of... Yeah, I'm like 90% sure. Aren't his feet still itching? Doesn't he still have the feet itching at the same time? I'm like 70, 70, 30. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, 50, 50. <coughs> nope. 
<coughs> no, 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 no. That is, I've, I've, I've had that before. That tastes familiar. That is the dust of sneezing and coughing. Oh, is that you right? Got, I, I, wrong. I actually had no idea what that was. Yeah, no, I gathered that, actually, yeah. from the way you were reacting. I was when you really, that. really uncertain about it. Don't that is going Greg. to be useful Don't in the future, Greg though, in the future. so let's hold on to that. <sighs> I'm helping. Yeah, no. you are helping, Greg. So it turns out I'm really bad at identifying things. Sorry about that. Oh, so, so, okay, so it's not what we're thinking. I'm trying to get that. Trap powder. It okay. is a trap powder that is intended, even with in, uh, identifying okay, so that, that could to look like. I just saw a white powder and I took a stab. Um, <laughs> what, what else you got? <laughs> uh, okay. You know, next, second chance. This, this is a fun game. Next yeah. thing, I picked one of those blue mushrooms from earlier, but we never really identified what. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I picked a brand like. <laughs> Let me identify that. Really. I remember when Bodger ate That's one. That's <laughs> I remember when Bodger ate one and it looked like it was going to go bad, and luckily it didn't. And I just want to know what actually That's it does. Right. Um, I picked a few actually, but here is one of them. Well, I get up my magnifying glass and I take a look. <laughs> you cast Identify of a ritual. Each time he's doing this is like 10 minutes of casting. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, long, just in a, it's a long journey. You're all just really like... cramped together in the back right. of this cart. Greg, just, Greg and I are just in the back of the cart being like, and what about this? <laughs> and what about this? <laughs> and what about this? Uh, it's just going to have something to do, honestly, to pass the time. Mm. <laughs> uh, done with that one yet? Uh, not yet, just, just about. Hold on. I think it's Jar of Beetles. Yeah, but how can you be sure? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need roughly nine minutes and 45 seconds. So. <laughs> God. Okay, uh, this one looks familiar. Do you know who that is? Don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. <gasps> don't know. Uh, so what, what's Welcome special about this? Welcome to the Greg to fight. Oh, no. uh, That's a dick of cards. Right? Oh, okay, you don't need me at all, apparently. Yeah, but what does it do, Greg? I, I don't know. Oh my God, Greg. The blue mushroom is uh, known as the blue, uh, is a blue one, and for all intents and purposes, it is a magic mushroom. If you take it and uh, fail Good a night, constitution Mickey. saving throw, you go on a trip. If you fail by a certain amount, it's a bad trip. Okay. Uh, while you are tripping, it lasts for a certain number of minutes, and uh, and you can do certain things depending on whether it's a good trip, bad trip. So sure. it's still a cyber. Right. Um, I also just picked up. I, I love that Alan says it's still a cyber. I've, I think he frequents the shrooms. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, this one you, or, uh, you have a look at yourself. You can tell that this that. is very powerful magic and it is um, mostly transmutation. You identify it and you realize that it is a scroll of quick save. <laughs> this is a creation of my own device. Uh, sure. Scroll. As an action, a creature may read from this scroll. Not just you, but a, any creature yeah. your could read from this scroll. The scroll then disintegrates into nothing, and a snapshot is taken of the worlds and everything in them as they stand at that exact moment. Mm. At any time within the next minute, the creature who read from the scroll can use an action to return the Even worlds and everything Bodger, in them to that right? snapshot, right. including hit points, too, and spell bad. slots, everything. I'm like, damn. Okay. The creature, so the, 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 the creature that? who reads that, that right scroll then head. suffers 10d10 force damage as the pressure of manipulating the multiverse in Even such a way. Even a dumb barbarian. 10d10, which is an average of 55 damage. Oh, shit. So, so you got to be... You gotta, to it's not a, wait, 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 what? Then suffers 10d10 force damage. Wait, 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 what? The creature, the, 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 the creature who yeah. reads that scroll then suffers 10d10 force damage as the pressure of manipulating the multiverse in such a way. 10d10. 10d10, which is an average of 55 damage. Oh shit. So, so you gotta be. Get you gotta, it's not a willy nilly thing. It's like a, we're what, in a what, real pinch. What we need to do this. Uh, force damage. Is that is that? Um, so okay. No, this is for, force is like use the force. It's like oh, it's okay. like the so essence well, of magic. Blood, it's so, so I wouldn't get my magic in my its rawest form is force damage. So and that, does that take the damage off? Like when you cast it or when you've quick saved? No, when you, you yeah yeah force damage cannot be dodged and is absolute it is the raw base form of magic in Dungeons and Dragons. Right, Vincent says ten to one hundred damage or an average of fifty five damage to reset the world. Hmm. <laughs> I can tank that. Use the quick save ability. So you can use the I'll scroll, use right disappears, now. and hap and the quick save happens. Ain't no thing, but if you don't wing. use it in the next minute, it's gone. But yeah. if you do use it in the next minute, you are manipulating the force of the entire universe to go back then to that moment. Which... Use it right before a fight, isn't it? Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right like before a fight, you're, you're like, I'm not sure we can do that. But like the any... damage, would the damage happen? Yeah. Like when you use it, so if you're already hurt, it would take further damage off you, or would it if you're, reset you and then take the damage off? Uh, it resets you to the point of the quick save and then takes the damage. Great. And is there any multiversal magic where you could grab something and as you go back through time... You could potentially work on this scroll in like downtime and stuff to manipulate but it, to stands, allow it. I think back to how it was with your memory, it's it like a quick way you learn. Did you say 10d10? 10d10. 
and I'm um, also 55 force damage. So, so, so but it sounds like oh, if the weary is, this is a problem be me because I've got yeah, please. <laughs> um, uh, and it'd be on you to do the action. Am I the only one with, with the retained knowledge? Like in Galaxy Quest. Um, no, all of you would, all of you as the video oh, okay, characters okay. would rem remember the next remember. minute and be like, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. Um, Interesting. And then something uh, next. Uh, any more info on that, bad boy? No. Um, next was a potion that I thought was a slow potion, but um, mm. yeah. The, you, as you as you, <laughs> as you move it, the potion seems okay. to almost stay where it is and requires almost resistance to move the the bottle because the the liquid isn't uh, moving as as well as it should. Mm. Uh, this is uh, again one of my own creation. It's oil of immovability. It allows you to cast the spell immovable object. So basically, if you put this oil on an object, that object it stops moving in space. It's like an immovable rod. <coughs> oh, you should have used it on that little thing chasing you. You're okay. casting, yeah. You're casting it as if Not it's a level bad. four, ob uh, level four spell, immovable. Object. But how long does the last one? Sorry. Um, how yeah. long does? Is it like? Oh, 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 oh yeah. How long does it last? What amount of time? Yeah. In the mid air, would it move? Yep. Like, oh, stays so in the air. Not. Okay. So we could use it on like rope and stuff, mate. So yeah, you could like, if somebody's attacking with a sword, and you can manage to get the oil on their sword, their sword is stuck. If you if you're being chased by something, you can put a piece of wood up against the door and then use it. Does that only work on inanimate objects? Does it work on? Only inanimate objects. Do you want to just the best thing is when you use these items at the exact same time, like right at the moment when you need them, and remember the items that you have and use them in such a manner, and then you're the ultimate meta gamer. Like if you can do that, oh my God, kudos to you. Let's give that to me now. Like remembering, like stuck in remembering your inventory yeah, is, is a really uh, important. Thing. I mean, I, I I can still in tabletop D and D like just give it to you anytime to use it, or I can. Oh no, if I cast it, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I yeah, you could, but 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 you and the creatures you designate when you cast the spell can move the object normally. Oh, great. Uh, and you can pass, yeah, you can set a password that, when spoken within five feet of the object, can suppress the spell for a minute. Sorry. It can hold up to, because you're casting at level four, it can hold up to 8,000 oh, pounds. Stop it, um, and it, it requires like a DC, 20, uh, DC 30 strength mask. check to be able to actually move it. Okay. Um, Ooh, I, I like that. stole Let's some go. I like candelabra that. from uh, <laughs> Scabatha. Yeah. You, ident you identify that, realize it's not, it's mundane, but it's worth quite a bit of money. Well, that's why I stole them to um, a deck of cards. Okay. So, you get the deck of cards out. Uh oh. Mm. Pick a card. Pick a card. Add a card. Do you pick a card? Uh, Maybe don't pick a card. <laughs> Do you offer them? Did you offer them? Uh, why not? Okay, if you, yeah. Let's take a card. The whole world explodes! Just, just one? Yeah, just one, because he said pick a card, and I'm just like, I think he's going to show me a magic trick. Oh, this is going to oh be fun. Boy. This is irresponsible. Oh pick a card. Boy. I don't know. Pick a card. Now, did you ask me to identify, or are you good? Have well, you I was asking you to identify, yeah. Pick a card, right? But then pick a card. I pick a card. Yeah, you. Alan. Oh, oh fuck. Pick a card. Oh, but that <clears throat> attitude there. Yeah. So exactly. I'm, I'm like, that, okay, whenever it gets smugly silent. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Listen, oh. Oh. <laughs> Smug little smile. Now show your card to the cameras. <laughs> show your card to the clubs. We're, we're no, actually, definitely let me see because I definitely need to see it. Eight of clubs. Which turns him into okay. a toad. Was what this your oh. card? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know because I don't know what the cards do. <laughs> <laughs> I was I hoping you'd identify them, but oh well. Well, I mean, this eight of clubs. Eight of yeah. clubs. <laughs> Well, this one's eight of clubs. And what does that? And what does that do, Greg? Um. Oh, wait, what? You draw it out. Instead of the eight of clubs, in, on it is just drawn a picture of a very detailed orc. Hmm. Right. Right. I think I think the cards might be magical because I took them but from a hat. But is it so naked? Is it oh, a no, naked orc? I think that's yeah, very that's important. That's the best question. <laughs> I took this magic card yeah. from a hag and got you to yeah. just use them. Uh, you got to put it back in the Dude, um, best in the, in the deck. So by really the way, by the way. Best band name ever, Naked Orc. Just saying. Very detailed orc picture. Very detailed orc. You go to put it back in the deck, and it's just like it's it's not going back in, and then it flips out of your hand, drops to the base <laughs> of the. Um, oh, was that just me being awkward, or is that there something? No, there's something awkward. Stuff awkward. I know hey, how they pronounce hey, it. Hey, 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 inspiration. Thank you. Inspiration. Inspiration. Like inspiration. Um, you get inspiration. You get inspiration. Naked Orc, my new metal band. You drop it on the ground. 
Um, and as it hits the ground, the orc YouTube comes to life, and comes orc. off of the, the card, <laughs> growing in size to a real full, full-blooded orc oh, who is now cramped Holy in the back. Holy shit, we oh. don't have visual effects punch to cover this! <laughs> <laughs> You've got orc masks. You did Balin's rap. Oh yeah, we did. Well, thank you for my magical card. Oh, pick a card. <laughs> yes, I know magic. Ooh, ooh, I know magic. Ooh, ooh, I know magic. Ooh, ooh, I know yeah, magic. Okay, pick a card. Okay. Any uh, card. This one. Hey! Oh! 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 Deceive me to the fire. My eyes oh, deceive me. This is intimidating. Me. I I'd best you. get my sword out to fight uh, this real orc. I forgot we had orc masks. Oh, we have, have, we have. We have. We could have just had one of us. We in the this, this is way better. Yeah, but oh. this, is, this is good. This, this is, is good. Though. This is magical. Wait, wait, you guys, you guys like what you see in here? Whoa! Yeah. He's cramped in the back of this cat with you. Oh shit! Hello. Got rage. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Where did you come from? Okay, so I didn't know what the cards do. So, <laughs> when there's a picture of the thing, it will as you appear. Pick, as you pick it up, he sort of moves uh, with it as you pick it up. Oh. Almost. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Are you gonna put it down? You flip it over and put it down. He disappears. Hey. Oh. Hey, you figured it out. I figured it out. You're pretty sure. And then I flip it back over real quick. <laughs> back over. Let me just double check. I think it, I think it ends when you move it. Uh, the illusion lasts until the card is moved I or the illusion is dispelled. I love that new emote. You realize, so good, you realize in that did. moment that this is a deck of illusions. As that you flip it back over though, you notice right that the orc picture has gone. That, that oh, emote's a perfect mimic. One, use, one right. use deck of illusions. How many, this how many cards are in there? Now. 52? 52? Nope, Perfect. not a full deck. Uh, everything except three, four, five, six. Seven, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. sorry. Every, of every six. So X number. So, so three, four, 50, five, six, seven. Eight. That's uh, oh, sorry. thirty-two. Uh, opposite. Thirty-two. Now Th 30 <laughs> fifty-two cards in a deck. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And everything except oh, three, four, or, five, or, six, or, okay. seven. Yeah, yeah. So that's 32. five from four suits. Twenty. Yeah. Thirty-two cards. Thirty-one now. Exactly. 31. Numbers and shit. Um, so you have a deck Good of work. illusions. Work, Each Thanks. one has a different thing drawn on it. Um, I was deliberately so being, I was deliberately being all secretive and smug because there is another item in the game called a deck of many things, which is a campaign ender. Um. It's stuff like you draw a thing and your soul is teleported to a different plane of existence. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. oh no way! That that deck is too powerful. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she didn't. She never said that. I wish. I mean, I wish. I think I dreamed something like that one time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's two more things. Oh, what are these? So wait, wait, Oops, so game's so over. Yeah. Just logic, though. <laughs> Which oh. is why I did not include them in the game, but I wanted to... <laughs> if, we, if we paid all, all, this, all the different cameras... That I was including them. <laughs> <laughs> and the game's just over, and it's like, we've still got like seven hours left of the day. <laughs> oh, uh, no, be good. Rob, we need more episodes. <laughs> It's not happening. Um, and the it's final, the final thing I have, I know that you guys have some things as well. The final thing I, I have is a bottle of ink. A bottle of ink? You actually have more than that still, I think. Uh, yeah, I, the, yeah, there was a extra dash, and I was like, I obviously meant to write nothing. <laughs> really quick, with the, going back to the cards, um, can you, actually, you can go through the cards and no, see you can, them? No, you can so just draw one, you don't know. It's you, just a random yeah. thing. Okay. You draw them at random. And as soon as you draw them... Yeah, let me right. just double check I'm getting that right. Uh, the magic deck functions uh, only if cards are drawn at random. Okay, cool. okay. So don't, just don't go. You can use an, look at cards. That's crazy Cause. that I just happened to do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah that worked out. Takes you well. an action to, uh, to to draw the card at random, throw it to the ground at any point within thirty feet of you. An illusion like or illusion of the creature yeah, appears yeah, yeah, yeah. above the card. The illusory creature appears real, of the appropriate size, and behaves as if it was real creature, except it can do no harm. Oh. Whenever you're within 120 feet of the illusion, you can use an action to move it magically and make it interact with things and blah, blah, blah. Cool. So it could be a good intimidation. Thing. It's yeah. very good for intimidation, distraction. Unless it's like a, just it's a cute bunny rabbit comes out or something. <laughs> That'd be very, this. very funny. Like, Shit, damn, damn it. it. Watch and this. <laughs> <laughs> um, How many bunnies are in this deck? Yeah. Okay, the bottle of ink. Uh, you know... I shouldn't be surprised by this, but I think I may be surprised that I'm on episode 97. This thought just hit me kind of randomly. And that all these dudes are still alive. It surprises me because the number 97, I mean, like we, we are pretty far into this, right? But at the same time, it doesn't surprise me because, I mean, hell, it's Viva La Dirt League. So they're, you know... I would say 50% of these episodes are them just like improving, you know? 
Yeah, like I, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, Maddie. I mean, like we're on episode 97, so like I guess I'm both surprised and not surprised whatsoever. Because like in Viva La Dirt League terms, this is like episode 42. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like really? <laughs> <laughs> they did, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob's reminding me they almost died episode one from frogs. That's hilarious. You're right. Yeah. I mean, it isn't a traditional D and D game, and they have been put in situations. I mean, I mean, let's take the uh, Rowan situation where he jumps off the airship. I mean, that was crazy, right? There's been a couple situations. I mean, and how many times has Bob almost died, for God's sake? I mean, Bob, Jesus. Four now? <laughs> like he's, he's always in-capped, man. It's just crazy. Uh, the link, you, uh, <laughs> one orc and 31 Rowan. What's up, Retro? <laughs> What How you doing, buddy? Good to um, see you. You, you identify the bottle nice as being able to cast Illusory Script. It is a spell that allows you to write a message, make it look like uh, a different message, um, but you and a creature you designate can read what it actually says. Hmm. Cool. It um, a, it's a, it's a decent spell, but you, uh, rules is written. It costs 10 gold every time you use it. Jesus. And I'm like, that's not worth that, and nobody no, ever uses no, it for that uh, reason. So, so we're not doing that. No, you've okay. just got a bottle of ink that can yeah. cast it for you. No. In case you needed to make messages, uh, you also took one of the books from the shelf. Oh That's my what goodness! That's um, retro. Yeah, yeah, you took two books. Uh, well, you went to take two books. Uh, yeah. Realized one of them was right cursed, now, so I took the other one. Did you take the Balin's Rat screenplay? I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that one you I've identify as yeah. being a fantastic short film, but not magical. Nah, I mean, it's kind of magical. It's, it's magical. I, I disagree. Yeah. It's magical. Yeah. Good night, buddy. It's a certain kind of magic. Hopefully, see you tomorrow. I have a lot of odd things in my inventory. One of them is the Balin's Rat screenplay. Another, I just have written. A bit of Leithor. Not a bit of Leithor. <laughs> a, 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 a bit of... Um, <laughs> ah, a bit of gold some A bit of gold horn, yeah. I have a bit of gold horn. Yep. Huh. I must have just picked up a bit of a So flesh. for a while, you haven't been doing it lately, but for a while you were taking... Uh, a souvenir from everywhere you've been because yeah. later on th th you're going to need a spell useful. called teleport yeah. oh, that's as why part of teleport oh. you need like if you've got an item from the place you want to go yeah. I thought you were like they're getting the same problem Ryan with whatever beach or battlefield is on he puts <laughs> a little bit of sand or his pack no I, so I've got a little bit of, uh, of gold horn yeah something's starting to really smell from your uh, <laughs> oh, no sorry it's, it's in the bag of holding now, yeah I can so. still smell it <laughs> <laughs> which also smells like fish so anyway um, the book that I took the book uh, you identify this uh, this is a very it's a book. book. A very powerful book. It's called The Tome of Leadership and Influence. Uh, you recognize, as he tells you what it is, you recognize it immediately. The These books are so The Tome of Leadership and Influence. Yeah. They are legendary books. Uh, there's only like a few of them in existence. And by spending a few days reading this book, um, it can permanently increase your charisma by two. Ah, but ah. Oh my god, that would be amazing for but me. But once it's done so, it loses its power for 100 years. Okay. How long is this campaign? <laughs> this one is currently not powered. Uh, it will regain its power soon. You're not sure exactly how uh, much. The identifier is not powerful enough to work out when it regains its power. But it will get it back. I'm going to check every day. Yeah. <laughs> Checking your crypto every morning. How's it doing? Uh, I, also, I also have the evil book. You also have the evil book. Uh, do you wish to identify the evil book? Oh, God. Just, just you. Ah, I, 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 I don't, I don't yeah. tell Alan the evil book. Yeah. Could you, and, book and, um, so that was one awesome book. Thanks, bro. Yeah. What about this? Here's another what awesome this book. book. Can sure, you make, identify it. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Me? <laughs> Why is he so good at identifying him? He's, he's got, got a spell magnifying for glass. It. He's got a spell. Well, I, got, I got a magnifying glass. He's got a spell called I can't uh, 19 plus. Oh, okay. So we're kind of working together, really. You feel like this book good has good. very corrupting uh, um, effects to it, um, and as we touched on when. Uh, Byron touched it at the end of the last session. I gave him a point of corruption, uh, which I did not explain. Mm. But you don't get a point of corruption because you managed to succeed against it. Nice. In fact, instead, you identify it and uh, realize that this is, again, another one of my creations called Scabatha's Book of Little Dangerous and Weird Magics. Great creation. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one last thing to identify this cool little book. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't even remember where <laughs> I got it from, actually. The book is moaning. Cool. It does say on the cover, uh, Scabbeth is evil book of dark magic. Do not touch. Oh, so. don't, don't worry about that. Sometimes books just have that written on it. <laughs> Listen I've to never the seen book, yeah, no, I sometimes just pick up books and they say do not touch on them, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't touch. I, it. I think it's like I think it's like a publishing note. Okay. You know how sometimes like the Dude, I would totally open that book. I just I I have to. I would have to. I mean, look at it and the sounds and everything. Dude, don't ever put Pandora's box in front of me. 
I would be the motherfucker that would open it up, you know. You got the publisher house just, and the date and stuff. Let do not touch Let me. What's okay. inside? I've touched lots of books. What's inside? Well, okay. Yeah. What's you're inside sure, the you're box? So sure. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just open it and see what's in here. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Okay, close. Close. Wow. <laughs> Uh, let's let's go through that one more time here. Let's see. And yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, this little black book book contains the musings and scribblings of the hag Scabatha from the Hourglass Coven. Once per day, a creature can attempt to read the notebook. The creature must succeed on a DC 20 intelligence saving throw, or take 4d8 <laughs> psychic damage, suffer one point of corruption, and be unable to attempt to read the book again yes, that day. What does corruption do? You don't know yet. Mm. It's a mm. thing of my own device that's not mm. in the game. Mm. Mm. A creature that fails this saving throw has disadvantage on all ability checks until they complete their next long rest. So it's dangerous to attempt it unless you've got a high enough intelligence that you can Pick make a DC 20. Mm. But if you do succeed the saving throw, you can spend 10 minutes reading the, the notebook. At the end of that time, you can make an arcana check and consult the table for what effect comes. Such things as no effect, no effect and you suffer confusion. The creature can recover one expended spell slot. Uh, the creature can cast their next spell without expending a spell slot. The creature can swap any spell they know or have prepared for any other spell that they can. Oh, so not Sorry, learn, not they can... learning spells from it. Um, or if you get a 25 or more on your arcana check, you can attempt any spell or additional effect once before you complete your own rest. So you could attempt the spell wish, or you could attempt, Jesus. like like Byron, okay. Byron did, you can attempt an x-ray spell that doesn't actually exist. You say wish? Do. Yeah, it's the most powerful spell in the game. What is the 25, did you say? Yeah, DC 25 arcana check. Which I wouldn't even be, able, be able to do, because yeah. my arcana... After, I, I after also succeeding the DC 20 intelligence saving throw to yeah, not... That would be... So it's, wish just like so it's wish a very powerful thing, but there's some... <laughs> I wish there I are limitations be. to wish, yeah. but uh, it can do. I a wish Leithel exploded. <laughs> there are things it can do and things it can't. Okay, so it'll probably explode some random Leithel that's just like a <laughs> hat, like a farmer. The last thing is just like <laughs> some poor little what? boy, like I'm off to school. <laughs> Remember, Leith, they'll stay safe. You're the, so, you're the so, last remaining child in Starborn after the horrendous yeah. meteorite hit. <laughs> All that you're you're our future. <laughs> you're our future. Hey, Why Becky, how are you doing? Um, I, I have something that I would like identified. So <laughs> we're having so much fun identifying things. Are you getting in on the action? It's going to be a super um, interesting yes. episode, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, it needs doing. We need shopping episodes. Sanders! A third level spell from the hand. First off, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for making it here tonight and chilling out with us because I'm having a lot of fun with all of you. It's good to see Becky. It's good to see Sanders. And Sanders says, hey, hey, people, summer work hours suck. They absolutely do. Summer lately, here where I'm based in Ohio, the past two days have been absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to talk about tomorrow, though, because this week's been absolute hell for me. And then, you know, obviously when the week is the worst, then the weather is the best. <laughs> That's how it works for me. But today, oh my God, it was 70 degrees, like big puffy clouds in the sky, sunny. Oh, it was beautiful today. I got a little sun. I went out for a walk. I had to because my Jeep is in the shop for the next few weeks. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, hey? uh, yes. Uh, do you want to identify his... Oh, is this the one that was written by... <laughs> I'm, I'm, identifying getting, stuff and I'm kind of getting bored. But it's okay, I pretty exhausting. About this him. is 10 minutes every item, so it's is been like a couple of hours written written solidly written identifying stuff. Written on a leaf or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think so. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't identify, remember. I've got it in. I identify it. Thank you. you and what is it? Uh, it's a leaf. That is a leaf. You just, it's a leaf. And what is it? It's what was also deal You're with carrying it. a leaf. <laughs> you picked up a leaf. <laughs> Greg knows uh, whether or not he yeah, divulges. I got, I got this one. Whether or not he divulges <laughs> this information, he uh, he knows that do, it I is do. a it is a third level illusion spell called Phantom Steed. Oh. For one hour, a large oh. quasi-real horse-like creature appears on the ground in an unoccupied space of your choice within range. You can decide the creature's appearance, but it's equipped with a saddle, bit, and bridle. Any horse of pocket. The, it's tarn. It's a horse it's a, pocket. It's yeah. basically a horse pocket. It's tarn. It's tarn. Let's try it for more than one hour. Uh, I thought you, with yeah, for the, for the duration, one hour, you, you or a creature hour. you choose can ride the steed. It uses the statistics of a riding horse, but it has a speed of 100 feet. That's great. Can more than one person get on it? Maybe, depending mm. on the size. Oh, you're of in construction standards. That's cool. So I one, did two one and a half miles as well. Now. Yeah, that's what I did about two and a half miles. And your horse. Boom, I've got a horse. Boom, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, honestly. When you think about it, it's going to be utility when it's like, I'm chasing that. Yep. Yeah, horse. You have had a couple out. of things where it's been chases and yeah. you've been able to keep up. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay. Anyone else? We're not going to green screen footage yeah, that. We're going to get a horse. 
and you're going to ride that horse yes. at Baradun in an open field. I'm legitimately not sure if this is just an autocorrect typo, oh. but I have a tin devil. No, that's correct. Great. I know I, I, I choose a... not to identify that. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> out the devil towards you. Um, what, sorry, what What's the that? worst what that can that? happen? What is the tin devil? It's a tin devil. I don't is know. Is it an inanimate object? I don't know. I've is got it, it in my hand. It's not moving. It's not moving. It's a tin devil. I get it looks like a tiny tin glass. statue. Yeah, you're going to do and it. I, and I, I mount another little magnifying glass. I can't remember where this came from. From the Lost Hag House. Oh, great. This is a device from my own creation uh, called the Devil Totem. This small tin statuette is shaped like a devil and has a name inscribed in the bottom of it. As an action, you can read that name aloud three times, which summons that devil. It appears in an unoccupied space within 10 feet of you. The statuette then disappears. Roll a d6 to determine the type of devil that appears. The devil is forced to follow one verbal command that you give it. Mm -hmm. If the task takes more than 24 hours, you must recommand it the next day with a successful persuasion check, otherwise it disappears after it's finished its task. You can try and make it stick around for longer to do more tasks for you, but every time it, re it requires another persuasion check and the DC gets higher. Right, if you ever right, fail right. the DC to make it do a check, it'll attack you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking this. This is the this is the long ride in the back of this caravan right now. They're finding out what it is that they got for the first time in a long time. They're going through items past all these adventures they've had up to this point, which, you know, are numerous. And I can almost guarantee you that they will remember almost none of them. <laughs> I will be surprised if they use a quarter of these items and then I will be surprised that the quarter of the items that they can remember that they have, they will use correctly a quarter of the time. And I can guarantee you that I am a hundred percent correct in that. Right. Daft. <laughs> like That's what I'm like. This entire episode is literally like pointless. It's pointless. <laughs> so and you can be like, Hey, the devil, DG break into that house for us. I'll kill that guy. Us, oh, hey, go track down this book that I'm missing. Or no, he's a demon. The devil, he? He's a yeah. demon. Yes. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you devil. summon now the devil near the demon, there will be consequences. Devil, I imagine, quite a powerful being. That's like... Let's find out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's okay. the word? Next episode, let's do it. I got the energy. Let's go. This one's entitled Jub Jub Ambush. Episode 98. Uh-oh, ambush. We can make a good headway on the track. A dick. I have a being. Gluck, 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 gluck. Uh, uh, oh, well, that the name should definitely the name, not be with you. The name on it is Klekartichun. Mm. Great, I'll just type that out. <laughs> yeah, right there, right none there. of them. None of them. Absolutely none. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> <laughs> not one person was writing. Not even Adam was writing anything down. Adam always writes things down in a notebook. Becky says none of them are writing this down. Not a great sign. Was Adam? Maddie says except Adam because he's the camp mom. Was Adam? Because I didn't. I didn't see Adam write things down. But I started zoning out after like the fifth item. No, <laughs> write that down. Click. Good luck, Lachlan. Hang on, click. Click. Is it on the solo of his foot? I'll tell you. It's on the solo of his foot. Yeah, it's on the solo of his foot. Story. Andy. I was like, yeah, the Andy. backwards. Yeah, right. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Greg. I've also got a jar of beetles. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a jar. Okay. I about that. Let me scroll back. Can up we to really where quickly? I, I don't in. think Bob should have the devil. Ten, ten devil. What's, the, what's the worst that can happen? Oh man! I have the devil that kills us all. Creature, so. What's in this jar of beetles? <laughs> beetles. Great. You cast identify on that, and I will stall for time because I, I forgot that you what? had it. I'm pretty sure. sure. That makes a Almost. sound. That, uh, that, that, that demons hate. Oh really? Do you mean John Constantine? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Thanks, same John. John. What? John Wick! You know he's got the Beatles! His dog dies, he gets the Beatles! Oh, you don't know the lore that, that, that they're the same character. I have seen that. Uh, his dog dies, he goes on a sword of redemption, he gets a jar of Beatles. Pretty sure. I remember the dog, I remember the redemption, I remember a lot of guns. I yeah. don't remember a jar of Beatles. Beatles, there's a whole thing about it. <laughs> he's like, whoa. Whoa. Beatles. If you open, yeah, if you open. That's a good Keanu. That's a very good the, Keanu. Uh, the jar, it casts into Insect Swarm. Oh, okay. Oh, great. A high level spell. Again, you should definitely not have that. I've got infestation, which sounds similar. <laughs> Do you remember when I put the play? I don't know if any of you have been watching me for so long, but it was about three or four years ago, and I put like a giant uh, blanket on my head that looked like hair, and then I started acting like Keanu on stream, like the entire stream. It was it was rather funny. Insect swarms oh, well. more powerful. Okay, cool. You're gross. <laughs> yeah.
I've got infestation. How many, how many, and now Greg, says, Greg's tired I've got now. <laughs> and, uh, the rest that, of the actors been, on the This has been couch, like an like, entire day. Yeah. <laughs> so that was just fast forward. Yeah, through. yeah, yeah. Uh, Greg's tired now and he puts his magnifying <laughs> glass away. But good work, Greg. Yeah, thanks. I, I need some water. <laughs> All right. There is uh, there is one more thing that is uh, that is catching your eye that you can choose to identify now or later. There is a whole bunch of wooden statuettes that you got from Scabbath's house in the likenesses of people. I thought I identified them and they were literally <laughs> Bob, just wooden no dogs. more, please. No more. Okay, right, let's do it. I, I, I tip a whole lot out of the bag of holding. <laughs> let's have a look. And a bunch of them. I like that Bob's asking, like, I wonder if Cancun had any items. Like, come on, Bob. Didn't you have enough of that episode? Come on, man. <laughs> No more items, Bob, please, for God's sake. Oh, shit. Oops. Can you, oh. can you make an, uh, an investigation check as you tip them? Ten plus. I don't know what investigation is. Probably two. It's when you um, investigate. <laughs> two, yeah. Twelve. Twelve total. Um, they, oh, you don't get, out. get out. You don't see any that you recognize in there as you tip them all out. Are you going to... Sk- one more time. Do you want to have a look at... Like, well, look at the dolls I got. <laughs> Um, sure. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Come on, just say no. Just say no. Uh, after identifying you, you realize that they are memories and past events of people with whom she has made a bargain. <laughs> ah. And does that have any magical effect? Or is it literally just wooden dolls? It's, those the way I identify it's, that is it's just that, that's exactly what's written on the back <laughs> of, of the dolls. Each person's got a name. Of, this is the memory of yeah, the Joe memory. Blogs yeah. when he came to make a bargain like any, about this anyone exact could thing. Do this, it's basically yeah. like a contract receipt, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what you learn from them. They're, they're different people with different memories and, uh, and the, the What can the I do deals. with them apart from you can so, so do whatever you want decorate with them. my home with them? Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Baradun and the Dickheads Instagram. Here are eight cool things you can do with creepy little dolls of your enemies. Number one, use them as like, weird little everything. <laughs> you can crush garlic! <laughs> Just like that, that easy. Hollow them out, salt and pepper shaker. And juggle them. Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> hey. Another one. Stick it up your butt. You can, I don't know, <laughs> stick them up your butt. <laughs> you can stick it up your butt. And of course, you can stick it up your butt. This is why they have this synergy. They all working together. They're all making great, funny sketches, and they all stick wooden dolls up their butts. I mean, like that's how that's how you know they're good. You can make them fight. <laughs> make them kiss. Get mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, put them back. And think and think of the memories the doll will have after that. I mean, you will never forget that if you were the dolls after that. That's a memory that sticks. <laughs> I guess that joke was pretty stinky. <laughs> no, it's over to you. Okay. I'm giving you the information, you can deal with it oh, as I you wish. It. I imagine if you break one, something will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably set them on fire and it burns on the burn or something. All right. Oh, so God. after a couple of days <laughs> travel, you're starting to um, the the <laughs> forest of Zither is starting to get a little. Uh, thinner and the mountainous terrain of Yon is starting to loom. Uh, I'll get each of you to make a perception <laughs> check, please. Not good. Five. five three, oh, we all rolled five? Three. And you rolled uh, three. Great. Uh, hey. And my perception. <laughs> my perception's not great. I think it's like five. Yes, yeah, so a ten. Seven. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot these, by the way. Oh, yeah, those things. Oh. For the first couple of episodes, it's people will be like, where's those things? Yeah. My only one. Can't remember what you're, uh, can't remember what you're on, but I'm pretty sure they're all black. I still don't. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. By the way, we should probably all rest up, shouldn't we? Because we've been... Oh, we must have, have been, been enough. Uh, yeah, it's been enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been enough of a... You've been a couple of days, so you've old. had a long rest. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, aren't we supposed to be bodyguarding? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Like, I haven't, I haven't guarded anybody. No, we yeah. should be on lookout right it's now. It's a good yeah. gig. Yeah. It's a very oh, good well. gig. Back to sleep. Yeah, yeah I guess starting so. tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. We will be bodyguards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll stop with these guys and set up camp. Listen to them talk. Start rehearsing Romeo and Maglubiet. Yeah. You, Kenneth is giving you real evils. Can we? I've only got forty-six H. Have I connected, reconnected with them at all? No, I'd, yeah, I'd like yeah. to talk to them. Yeah, you, 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 that, you really. They sort Half of like health. forgive you for leaving. They understand once you explain. Too. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, they, right. they understand so, your reasons for having to go, and uh, they've also heard but, about about your good I, deeds of get Dead Frost. So I definitely get, have. Am, am kind of. I, I, I am quite envious of their their lifestyle. I think and Just their 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 way of being. They're they're very. Um, I'm just they're very the world. Uh, proud of their accomplishments. Yeah, as about. they should be. Who are some yeah, my, my great-grandma was Romanian. I don't know if I've ever told anybody this. I think I might have told this on earlier episodes of this. And she was a gypsy. She was Romanian. And uh, she married a Sicilian uh, man and came to America. And uh, she wore this babushka. She was scary looking. I remember when I was a kid and she had tarot cards and I always imagined her when I wasn't freaked out by her that she was like in some large caravan, like in the back of a wagon, just like they are right now, pulling out crazy cards, maybe summoning some orcs in the back of a wagon. It's exactly like when I watch this episode, I'm reminded of my great grandmother who wore a babushka and she was a gypsy. And, uh, whew. <laughs> Naked orcs. Yeah, still great band name. Sorry, what? Oh, the actors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you, they, they tell you a couple of the other things that they've done. They've done um, uh, the Tempest Cleric, um, uh, the Merchant of Vikendi. They've, they've done that one. Um, Small Village was uh, one that they quite enjoyed as well. I was reading that one. I don't get that one. <laughs> Small Village? Somebody in the comments gets it. Um, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so on the on the journey, uh, the next morning, the next day, as you're on the on the road uh, with your terrible perception, you're all just like not paying attention. Mm. Well, we're in a cart covered in a tent, so we're just like, where yeah. are we? Done. We can't see out the yeah. cart. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, one, of those, it's one of those open. Awesome, my face. Yes. It's one of those open it sounds like forest. Like a wagon. Um, you uh, you start to. Um, Mm -hmm. And just before we, before you continue, yes, a little, a little inspirational speech. Because <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. it. What is yeah. the inspirational speech? Uh, what is the topic? I want it? to tell you guys um, about. That's a smart move. That's actually a smart move. My grandfather's house. <laughs> <laughs> so my grandfather. Like, no, listen, are you let's telling? Let's are you <laughs> telling just us, or are you telling like the troop? The right? whole troop. Oh. Now, my, now listen, my grandfather. He uh -huh. gave me this hammer, uh -huh. and it is rightfully mine. Oh, oh this so wrapped. Quick, quick question. question. So we, were we all just like quietly trundling along in this car, <laughs> the and then Bodger nothing. just no funding goes, nothing. guys. <laughs> exactly. And this is just I was the, asleep. This is a story <laughs> about justice and rightfulness, and it's a story and about redemption. about being honest, and it's a I story of redemption. I the edge of the car. Going, <laughs> okay. I could jump. I could, yeah. like, but, but, but. Do you feel it's bad? No, just, no yes. you just I started said, the story. Yeah. It's almost not worth the buff. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's almost not <laughs> worth it. Yeah. To story. listen to yeah. the story. Yeah, this would make a yes. great play. Yes. The rest, of the actors, yes. the rest of the actors having heard it for the first yeah. time. It's actually a very so thrilling he, story. My, my brother stole it from There's me. Tristan, so all, all the other actors Redemption. are and really oh, yeah. No, please don't tell me Shakespeare is listening to this <laughs> as well. Yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah. Because if this gets turned into a Shakespeare play. It's going to get turned into one of their plays. He's outraged. Shakespeare's on the on the next count. <laughs> oh, oh, for real though, this he does. Why it is rightfully mine. And they're all very inspired. And I go, yeah. Let's see how you feel tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Each of, so, each of you guys gets eight temporary hit points. Yeah. 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 I know. It's, I know. You it's can going talk about anything else. I, I know it's going down, <laughs> but I. You. You, can talk about, about, you can talk about anything else. That was a smart move. <laughs> it that used was to be smart things move. like. Listen, listen. Anytime I, if I ever traveled in the back of a wagon that would just had like canvas covering me around me and I was in an area like say the old west or something, I would freak out. Like, okay, it would give me shade and it'd probably feel good to be in that shade, but I wouldn't know what's going on out there. And I just have what, like a piece of canvas covering the, the wagon. I don't know. I would get shot at at any point in time. It would just go right through the canvas. I would get scared. I would get scared traveling that way. I couldn't do it. And that's why you always eat an icicle. <laughs> yeah. um, and at some point, he just got this. <laughs> <laughs>
being as bothered about this goddamn hammer. You know, you know you have the hammer back. Are you inspired? A little bit, yes, and I don't know why. Are you inspired? He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna do this until he turns into negative inspiration. <laughs> until it, it, it reach one. You reach one. You reach one. 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 So, you reach one. Okay. I mean, man, a little bit. And then it'll be zero, and you'll still be trying. Yeah, and but then it'll go to negative. It we'll tells you the story. You subtract. You each take a point of psychic yeah. damage. Yeah. 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 So I'm just like ah. <laughs> I hate you. Oh. Anyway, and that's the end of my story. As you are all on, on the back of this cart, Thanks. open wagon, forest around, tiny little uh, sparrow sized bird comes fluttering down. Uh, Lots it, eats it. Uh, <laughs> and that's the end of whatever the f you were around. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on. Yes. Next Good luck, section. Ron. Good luck. <laughs> uh, well, what's what's it goes to eat it, and each of you and what's it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Jesus. This little Come birdie on. is very consent. adorable. I didn't consent to this. What? <laughs> Man. Uh, oh, this is what saving throw is it? Wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom saving throw. Why is he giving the uh, option 20, to kill this bird before 20, baby? Six. Six. Oh, yeah, boy. I, I got two. Six. six. I got three minus one, so two. <laughs> three minus one, so two. Two, Nine, six, <laughs> nine. Three minus one, 20. so 20. <laughs> uh, the, two, the two of you see this little bird as just the most adorable thing in the world. Yeah. It's got long, weird oh, sort of gangly legs, kind of like a baby Pukeko. You, you seen one of those? Yeah. And real long, just stupid oh, big, so big so feet. What? Yeah, oh, it's what? It's is this a New Zealand, Zealand creature? It's just <laughs> <laughs> down. It's the most adorable thing. Um, uh, and you are charmed by this bird. The rest of you, however... Uh, <laughs> How is this thing adorable at all? Hold on a second. A baby... I had to write this in. A baby Pukeko. This thing is ugly as sin. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. That is, the, that is an ugly, crazy, ugly, demonic-looking bird. There's nothing cute about that bird. Rob's got a weird sense. Okay, perception check. Rob, throw... <laughs> roll the dice, Rob. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, uh. It's so cute, my ass, Matty. Bah. It's like a little dinosaur, man. See it walk? Okay, I'm going to find a video where it's walking. Aren't charmed by it. It's just a regular looking at... Um, oh, yeah, did you roll for what's it? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. I'm going to see if he actually gets to it. <laughs> yeah. so, no, what's it is also charmed by it. He's like... Just <gasps> eat it and then... Oh, <sighs> fuck. That is a cute... Okay, here we go. I got a video. We, we got to check this out now. I have never heard of this ever in my life. This must be a New Zealand thing. Baby Pukeko walking... Oh my god. Oh, that's... Oh my goodness. Look at the feet on those things. Are you kidding me? Those are ugly. Oh my god. Oh, oh, get get out of here. Oh, these are grotesque. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Stop it, Becky. Stop it. You're just like Christy, both of you. Maddie, Becky, those are ugly, ugly things. How dare you say, oh, those... I'm going to have to... Oh, we got to have a talk. The three of us. Bird! Is <laughs> that sulking? This fucking bird? No, that's God, hopping along no. and going, jump, stop. <laughs> Woo! Oh. You know, I, mean, it's a, I guess it's a cute oh, bird. Jump, 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 jump. What are you doing? What are you doing, guys? guys look at the guys, bird! What's what wrong with you? Look at Thank him! Thank you, Maddie. We're having to talk like after the show. Look, look at him, bro! He's jump, a jump, crazy. Jump. As it hops over, jump, jump. He gets into the middle. On and the then plus side, they probably think I look like Brad Pitt, so... Like, ah! not, cool. not shrieks, not, 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 not whistle, it screams like a human. It screams. I need each Isn't of you... Isn't it cute? Are I we need, still charmed? Uh, you guys are still charmed by it, but nah. I need the people who... Are, uh, in fact, everybody, to make another wisdom saving throw. Well, I imagine this one not go well. Cute. Oh, man, this dice tray is really f***ing <laughs> me today. Four. I'm, I'm like, almost five, as bad as you today. Two. I got five. 18. Five? Yeah. 18, That's baby. That's outrageous. 14. 14. 14. I, I'm not going to let it bother me this early. It's fine. All right. Ben, it's not okay. You're uh, having a one horrible... For, one You're for what's it as well, please. <laughs> for what's yeah. it? Oh, for what's it? <laughs> 17. She bounced out of the tray and it's 17. <laughs> um, oh, Chad's so what's it succeeds? The two of you fail. Oh, Kettlesteam. <laughs> she's, she's definitely here. Uh, she succeeds. I did roll for her the first the, time. The I forgot still this. here. God damn it. The two I'm gonna need roughly nine minutes and 45 seconds, so. God, what's special about this? Oh my god. Wait, aren't we supposed to be bodyguarding? The two of you feel compelled to use your reaction to move as far away from your allies as possible, meaning out of the back of the cart and right. out into the bush. Shut up! I just see the two of them. What? I butterfly out of there. Listen, you, shut up, listen! As you, as you jump out, uh, the bird will take an attack of opportunity on you. Who's it gonna go for? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Damn baby poo kekos! Okay, well, I'll yeah, I, that I, I, I've got a th- I've got a I was about wait. to just evens. It's actually going for him. I give, I give it the option. He's Harold. Good one. <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> fucking, I've got to play first. Well, maybe. It screams. You can start well, okay, to. I, if I, you're going to start I, doing I, I things. I do charm monster on it. All right. Uh, this means initiative. Um, if you're going to start reacting to it, initiative from everybody, please. Yeah. And I get advantage on that shit. I'm gonna try the dice tray one more time. Advantage as well. Dice tray. Two. Ah, need a deck. Do I get my charm monster out first? Eight. Oh what? Eight. Because it because it has started the the combat and you were responding to that. Seven. Fourteen. Seven. Eleven. Even with your alert. Yeah. Yeah. Is it alert? Are you adding your initiative? Two. So I'm right down. Two. Greg, right down here. Uh, makes sense. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, for um, what's it? Budget? 17. Oh, uh, only 8. I got 8. Plus his th- stuff? Have you got his things? I don't have. Oh, here. here. Uh, uh, what was it? 8, sorry? 8. eight from with one. advantage. Did you. Yeah, yeah, you I got, got two, six, but six with advantage because you're weapon of one. So right? initiative oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, of course. 15. Uh, it's his dexterity. Oh, oh yeah. right. 15. 15. Plus plus. All right. But above Baradun, above Bob. Boom. So 20. Yeah. 20 for now. 20 for. for um, all right. What's it? How are they actually the same time? They go in at the same time. What's it in the, uh, the birdie? As it screams, you guys all hear that there is wings, uh, sounds of birds, wings taking off, leaves rustling as more of these things are taking off from the canopy Shit. and moving in towards no. the back of the car. I told so, you, two of you, told you no. jump off of the back of the thing and you no. realize whatever this thing is, you Pukeko go to try a monster. <coughs> it first will take a sneak, See? snipping beak See? attack. See, this is what you. happens. This is what happens. Uh, Ow, you lovely thing. It will, uh, <laughs> oh my god, ten, I love you. Ten will miss though. So it misses. <laughs> uh, it snaps at you, misses, and then we're into initiative order. It takes off from the back of the wagon and joins the rest of them. How many they become are there? a swarm. Billions. <clears throat> Fireball. They become a creature called a swarm of these birds. As in they're Shoot all, it into the swarm, all fireball into the swarm right now. So they're technically Light one up. enemy. Light them up. Uh, yes, one cr- they count as one creature. Oh. All right, it is the swarm of Jub Jub birds' turn. They will oh, the fly down to... Light they, them up. they went for you, so I, they're going for you I've again. I've heard Jub Jubs before. They fly down to you. Uh, reference your notes, Jub Jubs. Go, Maybe I'll beware. Be just, just beware. <laughs> oh, beware the Jub Jub. Yeah. Uh, beware the Jub Jub. Beware. <laughs> Where be? No, I've got nothing. I got, I got nothing. There's a puzzle in here somewhere. I think beware means the bird kill it. scared me. Beware, the bird scared me. The, the, the thing you could have that done with the beware that the jump jump was when the bird me. landed and went jump jump jump. Uh, you could have gone. That's a jump jump bird. It'd beware it. I should have thrown it. Nothing that a flame thrower can take care of. I should have played a second. I was immediately. They are super. They have. They have. They have. They have. They have. Adorable and they have. They like piranhas. Slipping beats. All right. So they go for you with the swarm. That is a 19 to hit. Definitely hits. Am I still You are until they cause damage to you, which is now. Unless they don't, of course. Yeah, no, they hit you with a 19. No, 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 The swarm of them snip at you with their beaks. You realize that their beaks are like razor sharp across the edges. Like, ah, Jesus. Ah, you pieces of shit! Mm. I start start off like, ha ha, oh shit! (laughs) Oh, hello, little birdie. Oh, you landed on me. Please, the animation. What an adorable. No! Ah, God! No! Oh! Ah! These ah, animations are awesome. Uh, that's 24 more, points of piercing damage. Guys, 20, uh, I'm going to lose one. 24. <laughs> As they swarm down to you, that is their turn. Uh, at the same time, um, I take a moment to yell out it's so, off the uh, my apologies to the actors. <laughs> guys, I want to apologize for letting this bird in here. This is not a nice bird. Ah! <laughs> we attract horrible enough. <laughs> it would have happened to them anyway, wouldn't it, if they were going that way? True. True. You know what's I mean, crazy? Possibly. I feel like we yeah. I feel like I feel like this is about the time I first started watching this series was about this episode. I remember when you guys are saying, Oh, you guys please you like DG, please watch Azram campaign. And I was like, Okay, if you really want me to. I'm like, I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons in forever. And I've been actually playing Dungeons and Dragons again, which is hilarious as I've been watching this and going further and I've been playing some old titles again. Like I haven't played in years upon years, so it's kind of cool. And also I want to get like a tabletop game going. But anyway, that's besides the point. I started watching this series. I think I was on episode one and I was like, I wonder where they're at right now. And it was like episode 97, 98. So I think about the time I started 
this Azram campaign, you all were here on episode 98. I'm pretty sure. And they might we not actually, have had a we might that immediately them. kill like a you, you have yeah. been hired by these people to protect them. So yeah, so we're actually doing good. We can't, we're actually okay. going to help them actually. Thank you. Is this when you start right, with two back um, in the school? Fucking, all right, well, I guess what's <laughs> it just leaps the, at them and tries the to bite them? Right, and Star Wars. Can bite a swarm of. Uh, yeah, if you can grab luck. a couple of them. Six. Six. Six to hit will not well, hit as he kind I'm of dives through. You. He can't get I'm a focus on any one of them. <laughs> what, what's well, I have a playlist really if you want to watch along with us. We've like, been doing this for over a year. Because of being here. controls them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put the playlist in there. Yeah, his attack is if like... If being controlled by someone who can roll... That's our entire adventure. He's more useful Yeah, for like... Well, in theory, yeah. And he can do poison damage. Hypothetically, he can be in the He was only shit against you because you were raging and having the damage. He scratches and does poison damage and stuff. He's actually pretty good. But he he's a tiny little... All right. Uh, and the cool part about this is sometimes we talk about our lives. We like chill out. We're you know like we have moments where we like take little breaks and we like get back in. Like last week, we watched one episode, but we talked pretty much about cats. So it was a really, but we all had a lot of fun. And then we, like we, we like get, we go in, we come out, we talk, we like hang out, we chill, we laugh, and then we like we get back in. It's it's like a roller coaster. It's really fun. He's like a sorry. What's in this moment, it's kind of <laughs> so yeah, Greg, it was, Greg. Yeah. Remember yeah. when you were singing, man? Yeah. You are. Uh, <laughs> well, he's like <laughs> lifting all the... on my face. I'm like, I'm. Ah, ah. Uh, a symbol. Dap is a flame. Oh, right. Motherfucker! As the birds are swarming the over, fighting. Swimming. So I'm just out it's in the middle time. of this field, just have, like I always have a good time. I've been jumping off the back of the cart by myself. I'm super relaxed. Does the cart stop? You have to use your action to get as far away from allies as possible. It's their it's their way of hunting. So they split you two up. So you've got. Oh man, I'm dead. Actually, these guys are going to think I'm terrible and and completely a narcissist. But most of you already know that I am. But <laughs> but uh, wait, hold on one second. I'm in a fountain. Sometimes what I do is I'll I'll rewatch the these episodes, these actual episodes. And because I miss some things, right? So I'll like rewatch this and sometimes I'll fall asleep to it. It's really relaxing. <laughs> it's really relaxing. It's creepy because Christy walked in on me one time and she just, I'm like on the couch. I was on her couch in, in uh, her back room and I was like laying there watching episodes. I was, and it's fun because I get to read your comments. Like I miss a whole bunch of comments sometimes. I'm like, oh my God, you know? And then, like, I'll lay there. <laughs> and then, uh, I think it was last week or the week before that, Christy caught me watching myself. <laughs> and I, I was trying to explain to her. Like, she walked in. She just walked in, and then she looked at me, and she was like... She just shook her head. At me. Like, like, I totally... Like, she shook her head at me, and this is the sound I heard. Shame. 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 Didn't say a word, turned around and shut the door. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, man, this is the most, wait a second, this is the most horrible thing that could ever have. It's so like, I'm like, oh shit, I was so tired. I'm like, I'll just explain when I wake up. <laughs> when I woke up, I told her, I'm like, honey, honey, I'm like, listen, it's not like I'm watching myself, okay? It's like I'm, I'm watching the show. Because I missed a couple things because I'm busy talking up here. Okay. Occasionally I make myself laugh too. Okay. <laughs> Shame. 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 But primarily I'm watching it to see what I missed. And also the chat comments that I missed. You know? So, like, stop. Just stop it. <laughs> Uh, Dap, that's horrible, dude. Yeah, I'm 30 fighting. feet away, I'm, you've gone 30 feet away that way, and the cart is kind of in the middle of you both. I'm gonna go down swinging, I bring out my flamethrower. Uh, flame that's that's sick, sick, bro. Feet, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make an attack roll. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's action to make poppy, bonus yeah. action to Funny, make her activate. Okay, so, so and, she, uh, actually, it's not an attack roll, it's a, it's a cone of fire. <laughs> yeah. So she, get, uh, they have to make dicks. <laughs> uh, just the one for the whole swarm. That's an 18. 18 I actually just love the visual of Gregor in the middle of this open field, just like being swarmed by birds, but it's got a flame. Fire! Yeah, fire. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, 18 right. succeeds, so she takes the half perfect of that, person for this um, scenario because he loves fire. Uh, ha- they take half of Poppy's damage. Uh, what? Sorry, I've got your Where did I have oh, What Arnold <laughs> Schwarzenegger <laughs> movie is it where he's got a flamethrower and he's just. Predator? Mm. Or Commando? I'm just imagining. I think, yeah, I think it might be Commando. I'm just imagining you now just <laughs> as Arnie. <laughs> That's a very accurate <laughs> feel like way to imagine it. Yeah. Flamethrower. Uh, he's in a jungle. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 15 yeah. foot cone. That's someone else in Predator with a big Gatling gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm oh, still yeah, I'm got time to play with this. 2d8 right. fire damage. So roll 2d8 and then they'll take half of it. Cool. They're kind of like, <laughs> they're moving out of the way of it pretty so quickly. That one, this uh, the d8 is this one. That one, sure. Two. Oh. So, four. Yeah, man, my take rolls are. Um, two points, fire damage. I'm banning it. Four points. Right? I mean, no, they take two because what they about succeeded the this. Uh, <laughs> What's going so on? With the I, I got blood in my eyes. Is it pandemonium? Yeah, You're just bit. burning. Yeah, ow, 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 and they're yeah. nipping and biting, and there's yeah. some like tearing at ears and things. This is this is a horrible way to go for Greg. This is a horrible <laughs> way to go. Uh, that was Greg. You this reminds use... me of it's like Matrix with all those like machines. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You can use your movement to get out of the swarm, but by doing so, you take attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah, nah, nah, just stay where you are. I'm just. All right, Bob, you're up. You're about 60 feet from Greg. Fighting. You're about 30 feet from the cat. Okay, 60 feet. Well, wow, that's quite a distance. Yeah, because um, you use your reactions both okay, to run so the opposite way. Greg ways. is still yeah, in yeah. the car getting attacked. And so, am I still under what about the acting troop? You are still charmed by them. It means you can't do anything uh, dangerous towards the. Uh, towards the swamp. Oh well. F- oh wow. <laughs> you can help your friends. You can Hop go back away. towards the cart, the cart, but you can't do anything. Uh, Wait, how far away? Are we offensive. From each other? Sixty feet. Sixty feet. All right. Well. You're charmed by them until they do something to hurt you. All right. Um, well, I will take this opportunity to put uh, my armor of Agathus on. <laughs> It looks sweet. Like CG amazing ice and shit. Oh, just wow. like <laughs> It looks so good. So use your imaginations for that, everybody. <laughs> okay. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of those <laughs> tiny birds attacking Greg. Is he gonna be alright? Oh, it hurts so bad! Holy this is shit! Great. Oh my god, okay. Um <laughs> ah, ah, do something! Time for armor of Agathus, I think, just in case. Oh my god, it looks so cool, right? Looks amazing on my cool armor of Agathus armor, right? Whatever. So you've got your dope ass ice armor on yeah, it. It yeah, says ice so, armor. That's so sick. Um, and then that's um, so that's you just get an A4, white A4 piece of paper with ice armor written on it. <laughs> so I staple it to my chest. <laughs> ah! um, and then I run up and hide behind the cart. All right. Yep. Has the car action stopped. run? Um, they've they're bringing it to bringing it to a, a, a halt. Should <laughs> the be opposite of Wally go. <laughs> Wally, Wally stop. Wally stay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I I go super badass, awesome looking ice armor. Yeah. That shimmers away into nothing. Oh, why did, and then, what um, and to, then I run up and just hide behind the thing. Awesome. Uh, make a stealth check and then Barry doing your. Just up. started off awesome. Um, in the, like, <laughs> I can't hit them. <laughs> I can't hit them. C- kind of as if it's like a like an action so movie car type lengths. thing. I'm in the Whatever. back of the cart and I go boom boom on the drivers. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a subscriber like, though, you can post going. links. Yeah. And then I leap up the it's back of the cart. It's a paywall. It's a paywall, Maddie. Sorry. Sh- uh, shatter, <laughs> you ran into the paywall. You know that he's in the swamp, right? Oh, he's. Are you? Yeah, no, I'm getting fucked up in the swamp. The swamp went. Yeah, the swamp was like oh, the swamp was in his space. And then then I yeah, that that is a patented DG360 paywall so that I can like eat. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie posted the link and the and the bot automatically like deleted 45 messages of her chat. Yeah, that is that is a program paywall. Sorry about that. Oh, I I see what you did there. Oh, Maddie, I see what you did there. You're getting everybody ideas now. Yeah, to one, you can that. leave this wall. Okay, so I jump, I awesomely jump out and go. You need to get the I DLC expansion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then I don't know what I do. This, this, you've put me in a big old quandary. I yes. missed that bit so, important bit of information. Sorry, just quickly. I can't. So I can't do anything <laughs> until they attack me. Until they hurt you, you can't hurt them. Mm, interesting. You can do buffing things. You can help your allies mm. and stuff, but you can't hurt them because they're so adorable. Uh, they have it's, a it's the adorable. bot. Yeah. Um, so they look at those adorable things. Literally ripping great yeah. tearing like shit. piranhas. So yeah. yeah. But at those piranhas. Oh to be fair, God, they're cute, to, be, right? to be fair, if any, he's pretty. He might not even be charmed. Yeah. <laughs> if any of you think it's adorable. To tear things apart, yeah. Um, then I would magic myself. I know you program that way. No, 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 no,
yeah, other thing, one thing that I can do is magic missile. It's okay, back buddy. Level four. It's All right, okay. level four roll. You've been doing uh, really good, Schnazzy. Which is 1d6, 64? 6d4. Okay. Not 64. 6d4. How far away is this? 64. Uh, can you give him your fours, everybody? These little culture ups. Pointed. Um, how far away is... Um, I cover this coffee. Bodger and... Oh. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, four, five, <laughs> nine, <laughs> twelve, sixteen. <laughs> this is the best <laughs> ever. It's gotta be the thumbnail. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Is our coffee order arrived yet? What, what are you talking about? Ow! Have you got your coffee? This isn't the best time. I'm being attacked. Has anyone else got their coffee? I haven't got my. I haven't got my coffee. Are you, are you gonna help me? No. Yeah. Ah. How far away are you guys from me? Plus six, because each one's plus one. Cool, six and plus six. Uh, 22 30. points of damage 20, to the 30, 30, 30. Uh, swarm of Jub Jub birds. And they can do it have very far, don't worry. Which one's yours? Already taken some damage. That's it, significant. They're not le yet looking wounded. You haven't taken them to below half their maximum hit points. But okay, and then. <laughs> a few of them do go down. And then <laughs> why not? I'll, uh, I'll um, quicken and do firebolt at the same time. Let's do a little bit more damage. Which is, uh, well I have to roll to see if I hit first. 17. 17 plus your stuff will hit. Um, and I can't Actually, what it is. Uh, do, do do the maths on this because Greg's in it. I'm gonna work out whether it hits him as well. So uh, 17 plus 17 plus, seven plus two. Oh wait, so what, am I, what am I adding? It's your spellcasting modifier. So on top of that page should be. Uh, seven, yeah. Yeah, plus seven. So 24 is enough to hit them without hitting Greg. Okay, cool. And so I do at, at uh, I do 2d10. 2d10 because you're above level five. Yep. So, no, it's that eight. Which is that there it is. There it is. One and five. Six, Six more points of fire. They are not resistant to fire. Cool. That's uh, now looking now looking wounded. So they have below half the hit point. So I, what I do? Uh, Twenty-two and, and, and six. So great. Sure. So we need to do drop. that amount more damage. <laughs> yeah, sure. right. All right, that's Baradun. Uh, Staying where you are, like uh, by, by the back of the cat. So I've just jumped out the back. Yeah, that's all we're at. Uh, your allies. Oh no! I'm, you know what? I move five feet. <laughs> you got to move oh, half no. your movement. Uh, oh, I move fifteen feet. <laughs> well, it's fifteen, 15 feet, feet jumping out the back of the cat. It's like five feet out of the back of the cat, and then ten I feet. I move ten eight, feet ten more. Feet, <laughs> ten feet, ten feet towards right. him. Ten feet towards him. Uh, ten feet around the side of the car, so I'm kind of like slightly, of I'm slightly blocked. So. Alright, oh, have I... you seen the cute birds that are tearing Greg apart? Yeah! They're I know. adorable! Gorgeous little I things. I, I, I did over half damage to them just then. <laughs> so, if I'm charmed and I see someone damage them, does that send me into a rage? <laughs> it's a fight, have you motherfucker? Uh, They're my children! <laughs> Uh, then it is uh, Kettlesteam is going to step forwards to the back of the cart. She she managed to resist the charge. Can I just say? Well. I, li I like when Ben gets caffeinated. He comes to life. Kettlesteam, this is your chance to impress me. Uh, you take the time to this turn over. Moving on. <laughs> you distracted us. You distracted us. This is your chance to Badger. impress me. She says. And go. She says, uh, impressing you has no little uh, no value to me. Oh, and then she puts her, her hands. Man. Uh, and as her hands go out, these green spa these green sort of um, dust mites whoosh, appear and then grow into the size of birds like your uh, like the ones that are attacking you. Whoosh. Each one uh, goes to try and latch on to one of the birds that is oh. around you. Oh! And she is going to try and. There we it. go. Oh no! Let's go. Yeah, they, they succeeded. Uh, she was going to try and banish them. <laughs> oh no! Uh, they grab they latch a hold, sort of almost Iron Man suit around each of the birds, and then a couple of them. Wink, wink out of existence, and then uh, the the cat sort of trundles and poof, hits her and uh, hits her against the side of the thing, and they save against the uh, the effect. And poof, 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 In my mind, tell us. Ba Bodger, <laughs> Bodger, once again, look at look at the face. Hold well, on, let's go back to look at the face. Let's let's notice this. Like look look at the eyes. Like uh, this candle steam does nothing. Look at that. Even the nose, like the nose pointing down, and the disdain, like the like the he, he, he's he's. He's pretty right. He's pretty right right now. Kettle steam that did not come through. Kettle steam did not come through. against the side of the thing. And they save against the, uh, the effect. And In my mind, tell us, Bodger distracted her. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> After she says, I love that you call I it the mind. Care your mind to, to need your, no, not just your mind. And not just in my mind, it's like it's beautiful, majestic place. Oh, it's, like, it's great up there, bro. <laughs> So can I just, I mean, there's a little, little, little moment, so, so she, she does that, this is a little moment where this is a little judgmental moment of, uh, from Roger just going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. What do you do? Uh, then your goes, other mm. allies, the, 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 uh, they all huddle towards the front of it. Ah, oh, did you hear that? It was terrifying. What is it? Oh, no. Stupid actors. Stupid actors. <laughs> actors suck. Actors do suck. All right, um, <laughs> then uh, Billy the Shakespeare's uh, bit spear shake is a playwright, he's a lover, not a fighter. He doesn't know what he's doing, he's a poet. Um, oh, I couldn't possibly, darling. <laughs> I'm too busy thinking about ideas. Shaking his spear, going, what could I do? I don't have anything to throw at them. <laughs> um, Bodger, you're up. Rage. <laughs> um, Calmly raging. Uh, and throw. Rage. <laughs> rage and throw. And throw them. Have you got your shield out or no? Uh, shield, does it take an action? Takes an action to equip it. Uh, yeah. All right, so. Yeah. Hold on a second. I know what this needs. I just want to see this in slow motion, real quick. Just real quick. It's slow. It's a lot throwing the dice. Nonchalant. Uh, 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 <laughs> I just love how he just nonchalantly threw that like die. He was just like, meh, that get it out of my face. But See, that's the advantage dice only when you've got advantage are you going reckless to give yourself advantage oh i yeah, just raged no no I, I didn't i'm not going not going reckless okay so hang on wrong, wrong dice so just uh, it would have it would have been a 19. Would have been nice mm. <laughs> oh, Sucks. a six uh, it's not still a, in the cart it's just the wall a, <laughs> 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 kettle steam looks at you yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right my turn Oh, maybe just skip this one. <laughs> For God's sake, I'm getting my powers back. I have two thirds of my power. Well, I've never seen you be useful, so maybe just skip this one. <laughs> Watch this. God damn it. <laughs> oh, nice one. Good one, Kettle Steam. Nice. Right. Let me show you how it's done. <clears throat> Here we go. A three, two, one. Yeah. Cut the medica. Oh, that's how it's done, is it? Yeah, well, you know, that well, was a dud, but. Well, yeah. well. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, you both suck. <laughs> oh, we've started the thing now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you maybe get out of the cut and then you, maybe you'll be more helpful. <laughs> Both of you. As that's well, what, as, and I, call I like that, the that's dynamic that's happening between Kettle, out of the Steam, car. and Bajor right as now. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> as the level of barbarian that you are, you get two attacks, so uh, it misses the swarm, comes back. <laughs> uh, and it was... The sound uh, of adding bone makes me... Are you yeah. looking at Kettle Steam when you do that? I do, um, my... Uh, uh, Six. Do I, do I have extra? Is it strength plus strength to plus four? Was that what ten? Was that, <laughs> Bob says this is kettle ten steam's villain origin story uh, to kill Bodger. Thirteen plus, uh, I guess four. <laughs> oh, was it a six on the dice? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, had, you still had money. Jesus, it's been a long time Baddie. since we played. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the best. On, it's uh, the best. Down type. here on the wherever the weapon is that you're using, which uh, one it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pl plus pl plus seven or something. Plus eight. Plus eight. So it would have been a fourteen to hit, not a six. Fourteen hits. D and D, so. baby. D and D. Add, <laughs> add your modifiers. Yeah, I get five modifiers. Josh. So it whips past. So this is, this is the first one. This is the first throw. <laughs> Oh, I'm 14, in yep, 14 is enough to hit, but not by enough to miss Greg. So you'll also take half of this damage. Oh, awesome. great. So whoosh, with your, uh, with your uh, Warhammer damage. damage. Well, hang on. And, and now this is, yeah, this is 1d8 plus 1d4. Uh, 1d8 plus because it's a w dwarven thrower that's thrown, you also get a d4 to it. Ah, uh, god and damn it. And you add uh, your 4 eight. from your strength. Uh, this, is, this is the 4, the, co the coat. That's the 8. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so both these. 
four and three. Four and three, and then plus your strength of uh, four is uh, eleven. Uh, eleven uh, points. Oh, oh, plus five. Plus just five. Five. Yeah, it says plus five, doesn't it? Is it, oh, it's plus one Warhammer. Yeah. 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 Cool. So plus five. So 12. 12 points. You take six points of that. They take 12. Actually, they take six as well because that's the product of being a swarm. They're resistant to uh, non magical damage. Uh, oh. Because you can only hit a certain number of them at once, kind of thing. Uh, they're still standing. There's enough of them flattening now, around. I had already pre rolled the, the other one, which was 13. <laughs> 13 plus, plus your modifier plus will hit, modifier and hit. that one will be enough to not. Dude, he threw he threw that in there to help him out. Like sometimes I get mad at Rob for doing that. Like he threw that threw that little fact and factoid in there. Now they're gonna use magic, right? Like, wouldn't it be crazy if Greg dies to these little birds? That would be the worst death and funniest death of all time. Oh my god, I I hate to say this. This sounds crazy, but I I almost think this would be the, the most hilarious thing. If Greg actually died to little birds. So not hum, hum, and now the damage again? So you clips Greg on the way past yeah. through the swarm, oh, takes out the birds, and then pull it back, and as it comes back through Poor again Greg, the other though, way, I love it Greg hits from them Epic four. NPC, man. I can't have Greg die. Four plus three plus five. Ah, same again. Uh, 12 points of damage. Half to six. Oh, They're big old. Close. Close to be that. Cool, cool the main or whatever the hell the name of the yep, bird is. They are, they are, there's like a couple more of them that are still there, flittering around, biting at you. There's a lot of blood coming from Greg now. You've got yeah. very, very yes, sharp. Maddie, thank you. Uh, yes. uh, Bodger, that was you. Uh, back, back to the top of the round with them. Them and. Um, what's it? Uh, they. I'll tell you what, Alan has some of the the craziest cliffhangers in all the series Viva La Dirt League has. He's got the Alan of Tech Town leaving cliffhanger. He's got the Greg, Greta, the waiting on Greta cliffhanger, right? I mean, like, okay, so there's only two, but they're two really good cliffhangers that I've been waiting for some type of closure on those two stories. Yeah, I'm, saying this, I'm saying there's more than a couple. In my mind, there's a lot. They do not. Yeah. In, your, in your mind palace. In my mind in your mind palace. How many are there, Andrew? Um... Doesn't still. Doesn't. In my mind, yeah. Shaq. Yeah. Oh, lucky. Uh, if they get a crit, it's bad news for you. Uh, but they did not. It was only an 18 plus And the white stuff, shirt. Oh so my god, yes, yes. Them. Thank you, Maddie. Yes. Oh, and now they're on half health, so they don't get quite as much damage. Oh, good. Ooh, and I rolled crap as well, so that's six points of piercing damage. Yeah, six. Yeah. Oh, you'll be fine, mate. <laughs> Can't be fine. You'll be Maybe physically, <laughs> but. I love that dude, Bob. Just taking a mental 